they saw him 2,000 years ago. He walked in the streets of Galilee, in Nazareth, in Capernaum, everywhere doing good. He was made manifest. Now, that is the mystery of godliness. The great mystery of godliness. That God was manifest in the flesh. So, if anyone will ask you about what is the mystery of godliness, it's one thing. God was manifest in the flesh. Simple. That is the mystery of godliness. Are you getting these things? One day you will know why I preach in English. One day you will understand why. Why I don't preach to you in Swahili. Somebody might think me pride. One day you will know. Very soon. When you will be needed to speak English and preach English. Be careful. Some of you will be in the call center. Okay. So to manifest is to show forth, to demonstrate, to prove. And this is the month. That's why I'm asking, we, I'm, I'm saying we must pray and fast again this week. I want you to take it seriously. Yes. And this time around we're going to pray. Ah, we are going to pray. Magi, we are going to. Kama shula sidafungulua. This time we are going to pray. Wena sfia, penye. Wena sfia. Hata kama ni one meal. Asit. Hata kama ni one. Mutaruka. Tufunge na tuwame. You guys are ready? Is it going to end life? Eh, goja. Sasa nikiwa kwa story, wende life. <laughs> so are we done with that one? So, in Greek, manifest is phanero. Please don't go like wait. In Greek, to manifest, we say it's phanero, which means to make visible, to make clear, to make known. Are we together? Because of time. And we have a lot to cover. Be open in the book of Judges chapter 7. Judges chapter 7. We can go. You're worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh Jesus. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh Jesus. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh Jesus. You are worthy to be glorified you are worthy oh. you are worthy to be glorified you are worthy oh jesus you are worthy to be glorified you are worthy oh. judges chapter 7 Judges chapter 7 and verse 1. Then Jerubal, that is Gideon, and all the people who were with him rose early and encamped beside the well of Harod, so that the camp of the Midianites was on the north side of them by the hill of Moreh in the valley. Verse 2. And the Lord said to Gideon, the people who are with you are too many. The people who are with you are too many. For me, hear that? For me to give the Midianites into their hands, let Israel claim glory for it. Sorry. 
Let's repeat verse 2. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people who are with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel claim glory for itself against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Now, therefore, proclaim in the hearing of the people, saying, Whoever is fearful and afraid, let him turn and depart at once from Mount Gilead. And 22,000 of the people returned, and 10,000 remained. But the Lord said to Gideon, verse 4, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. Then it will be that of whom I say to you, This one shall go with you, the same shall go with you. And of whomever I say to you, This one shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water, and the Lord said to Gideon, everyone who laps from the water with his tongue, as a dog, as a dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink, I mean, likewise, everyone that um, gets down on his knees to drink. And the number of those who lapped putting their hand to their mouth was 300 men. But all the rest of the people got down on their knees to drink water. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. We are, we are speaking on manifesting greatness. It's our season to manifest greatness. Let me say this before I start to preach. Let me underscore the following. That those that wait on God patiently, they get to enjoy the promises of God. Those that wait on God patiently. They get to enjoy the promises of God. Not just any time. But at the appointed time. At God's own time. In God's time. There is the appointed time. God does not just do things. He does them at his appointed time. So those who patiently wait on God, they get to enjoy his promises in his appointed time. Uh -huh. God gave you greatness. And this is the season to manifest that greatness. Do I have to repeat myself? God gave you greatness. And this is the season. This is the time to manifest that greatness. Greatness, it's important for you to know that it is one of God's promises to us. It is one of God's promises to us. And God has begun to do and has started doing every promise that he gave to us. Somebody say amen. I expected a smile from there. For those who are patient enough to wait during the period of training. Please pay attention. For those who are patient enough to wait during the period of training, they receive and they manifest this greatness. So not everyone manifests greatness. It is only those who are patient enough to wait during training. When you have waited for God, you must receive from him. Oh, you must receive from him. You have waited for God's promises and I have good word for you. The Lord sent me to you that you will receive and enjoy the promises of God. Hallelujah. Now, you know God calls many to work for him. But only a few are patient. And I believe you're a witness to this statement. I believe this statement is alive to you. That God calls many. Bible says many are called. But few are chosen. So God calls many to work for him. But it's a few that wait. And those few. Those are few that wait. Are the ones that God uses. The few that wait. They are the ones that God uses. To manifest greatness. To manifest God's promises. Those few that 
wait. They are the ones. They are the ones. Those few that wait on God, those few that are ready to work for God are the ones that he uses. And they are the ones that manifest greatness. So we read from the book of Judges chapter 7 from verse 1 down to 6. And we see Gideon. Gideon is preparing for war against the Midianites. And Gideon chooses an army. And the army was so great. 32,000 foot soldiers. And Gideon is ready to go for battle. And God tells him, son, this number is too much. If they have victory, they will say, it is us. It's because we were many, that's why we got victory. And God tells him, everyone that is fearful and afraid, tell them to go back home. That day, 22,000 left. 22,000. There remain 10,000. God still tells Gideon, that number is still too much. Please, take them to water. I will tell you the ones I'm going to choose. And Gideon ends up with an army of 300 men. And I'm sure it didn't make sense to Gideon. Now, Gideon had many people. He caught many people for the battle. Gideon called many people for the battle. But God chose a few. Those that were prepared and they are the ones that manifested the greatness of victory in that war. I repeat again. Gideon called many but God chose a few. Gideon chose 32,000 and out of them God picked 300. It's only a few that God chooses to work with. Why? Because it is not everyone waits patiently. Many give up on the way. Many give up on the way. That is why God does not work with everybody. He only works with them that can patiently wait on him until he manifests himself. In the days of Gideon, he worked with a few of them. And those are the ones that God, through them, God manifested greatness in that victory. I mean, in that war. Greatness of victory in that war. I have good news for you. You should know that the waiting that you have been waiting for God in this place it was not in vain oh you are not happy you are not happy I said you should know the waiting on God that you waited in this place until now is not in vain I said it is not in vain It is not in vain. The waiting that you've waited on God. Some gave up and ran away. It is not in vain. It is time to manifest greatness. Because of the waiting patiently on God. This is the news that God gave me to come and bring to you. It is time for manifestation of greatness that is in you. The greatness 
in you it's time for it to manifest are you here are you with me the time has come for you to manifest greatness that is in you in whatever you do it is greatness because this is a promise that God gave to us and God gave to this commission and it will be it will manifest in you if I was you the seat will be too hot for me <laughs> Mm -hmm. in whatever you do it's going to be greatness it's going to be greatness because this is a promise that God gave us a promise that God gave for this commission about greatness and the time to manifest that greatness that time has come yes because you chose to wait I said, because you chose to wait. Can I say this? You chose to wait with me. Oh, you didn't like that? You chose to wait with me. The man in the cave of Adullam that chose to wait with David. When they joined the cave, they were men full of debts. They were poor. They had no good reputation in the society. They were the rejected. But when they joined forces with David and waited on God until David manifested the greatness of God. Now what happens is that the greatness in David was the one flowing in them. You know there were many giants. It was not only Goliath. Goliath had brothers. You know that? How many were they? Oh my goodness. There were five giants. David only killed one. But the other giants were killed. By who? By those guys that joined David. In the cave of Adullam. Those guys that were in debts. Those guys that were poor. Those guys that they were rejected. When they waited with David. The greatness in David began to flow. And affect their lives. And when the time came. They manifested greatness. Those are the same guys that become, became army generals. In the administration of David. In the administration of David, the guys that joined him in the cave are the ones that became leaders of his government, cabinet secretaries of his government. Why? They manifested greatness. They believed in the vision that God had put in him. Because you have waited on God with me here. It was not in vain. I don't know whether this message is for everybody, everybody, but I know I was sent to somebody because you waited with me here. It is time to manifest greatness. I say you are going to manifest greatness. You are going to manifest greatness. Your waiting was not in vain. This is the month to manifest greatness. Bow your head before God and make a declaration. My time has come to manifest greatness. Bow your head and begin to pray. Bow your head and begin to pray. This is the season. We are not waiting for another season. But this is the season to manifest greatness. This is the season to manifest greatness. This is the season to manifest greatness. This 
is the season to manifest greatness. In whatever you do, this is the time to manifest greatness. Greatness. This is the season to manifest greatness. And you will not be hindered. You will not be stopped. You will not be distracted. The time must come. The time must come to manifest greatness. Your waiting was not in vain. Your patience was not in vain. Your perseverance was not in vain. Your resilience was not in vain. Your loyalty was not in vain. The men that walked with Abraham, there were so many. When the time came for Abraham to inherit and to receive the promise of the land of Canaan, they enjoyed that greatness. It is your time to enjoy this greatness. I say it is your time to enjoy this greatness. It is your time to enjoy this greatness in the name of Jesus. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your season. God has come to wipe your tears. God has come to wipe your tears. You will manifest greatness. Because you have been patient enough in the waiting. In the training, it is time to manifest greatness. It is time to manifest greatness. You will not be blocked by the forces of darkness, you will not be stopped. By the forces of darkness, you will manifest greatness. The greatness, raise your voice to God. I say, raise your voice to God. The greatness that is locked in the inside of you, it is time to manifest that greatness. It is time. It is time. It is time. It is time. It is time to manifest greatness. The time for you to manifest greatness has come. And I declare to you in the name of Jesus without doubt you are manifesting greatness without doubt you are going to manifest greatness without doubt you are going to manifest greatness was not in vain. The 
waiting on God was not in vain. It is time to enjoy. It is time to enjoy the promises of God. It is time to enjoy the promise of greatness. It is time to enjoy the promise of greatness. It is time to enjoy the promise of greatness. I know that the journey has not been for the faint hearted. But we bless the Lord for this season. We bless the Lord for this time. We bless the Lord because the time has come to manifest greatness. To manifest greatness. Power is upon you. I say power is upon you. Power is upon you. To manifest greatness. You will manifest the greatness that is locked in the inside of you. Everything that you do from now, greatness. 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 I know to some it's been a long journey but the time has come to manifest greatness you cannot be hindered you cannot be stopped the time has come the time has come the time has come to manifest the greatness of God. The season is ripe. I repeat again. The fruit of greatness is ripe. Says the Lord. The fruit of greatness is ripe. Says the Lord. Pluck it and enjoy it. Pluck it and enjoy it. The fruit of greatness is ripe. The fruit of greatness is ripe. Enjoy the fruit of greatness. Enjoy these fruits of greatness. You will enjoy these fruits of greatness. I say you will enjoy these fruits of greatness. The fruits are ripe. The fruit of greatness is ripe. It is time to manifest greatness. It is time to manifest greatness. It is time to manifest greatness. And you will manifest it. You will manifest greatness. Nobody can take it away from you. God will not allow anyone to take it away from you. It is sealed. It is sealed. The goodness is sealed.
It is sealed. The goodness is sealed. You will not lose it to any devil. You will not lose it to any charlatan. is right from you you cannot miss on the moment it is your time to manifest greatness wherever you are getting me everyone under the sound of my voice are happening everywhere the power of God is prevailing in that situation mountains are melting right now every crooked way is made straight in the name of Jesus I hear this you will recover all. You will recover all. And whatever the thief stole away from you, he will restore seven times. Infirmities are melting. Sicknesses are melting away. Growth. Growth is melting away. Somebody with an issue of nerves Healing is your portion now. An 
issue of nerves. You are healed. Do what you could not do. Do what you could not do. Somebody with a chronic wound, I declare healing to that wound in the name of Jesus. Oh. They told you that the wound is cancerous. I declare healing. Cancer is melting away in the name of Jesus. Wounds are healing. Wounds, physical wounds that say no to medication. Wounds. Wounds are healing. There is healing for wounds. There is a grace for healing of wounds that is flowing right now. I bless your week. I bless your week. I declare this week you are manifesting greatness. This week you are manifesting greatness. This week everything about you will be greatness. Everything about you will be greatness. Everywhere you go, greatness. What do you do? Greatness. What do you choose to do with your hands? Greatness. I declare greatness. 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 Some of you, you are forgotten, but God is about to remember you. And I declare this is the moment you will be remembered in the name of Jesus. A door, a major door is opening for you and the time has come. Let it open now. I bless your week. The hand of God is upon you and favor is upon you. It's a week filled with laughter and the goodies of God in Jesus' name. 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 Come on, put a shout to the Lord. Put a shout to Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I bless you. And I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I bless you. And I speak divine cover and protection upon you. I bless you. And I speak divine cover and protection upon you. No demon can touch you. No sickness can come near your dwelling. I bless you. You carry the blessing of God. You carry the blessing of God. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. If you are not born again. And you've been following us live online. This is your time to give your life to Jesus. If you're ready. Say after me. Say Jesus. Come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. Write my name in the book of life. I believe that the Father raised you from the dead. I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. Amen. If you made that prayer, you are saved. You are born again. Don't stay at home. Let's hear about you. If you're far away from Nairobi, Kenya, 
Look for a Bible-believing church where Christ is revealed. Don't stay at home. If you happen to be in Nairobi, can I invite you to our church? This church is here in the heart of Nairobi. In Sunbeam Shopping Complex, 5th floor. Opposite Equity Bank or Nutted Quarters and along Frangano Street. There's a number that is down on the screen. You can take that number and call. When you call that number, I will answer. I'll speak into your life. I'll give you directions. Whatever it is you're trusting God for, we shall trust God together. And believe me, God shall do it for you. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you and God favor you. Thank you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.